Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So the prior video, you saw me pull two queenless splits. Uh, well, you saw me pull one. The other one I did right after that, and I found the queen in the uh, other uh, swarm from the double swarm and got her marked white as well. And I'm down here in the shade, and the mosquitoes are flying ass first and uh, stinging me. So gosh, it's terrible. When you get a lot of rain, you get a lot of mosquitoes. And I got my wildflower meadow queens in. So I'm going to open this up and show you how they were packed. Uh, if the mosquitoes don't chase me off, and so you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to get them installed. And speaking of rain, ah, we've got uh, thunderstorms like right there. So th it is almost to start raining again, and uh, some severe weather coming in. Uh, so we got to move fast. So let me zoom in on this package and uh, show you how they're packed and see what they look like. Hopefully they're alive. I I'm sure they will be. Okay, so they come in a uh, nice envelope and they punch holes all around the edge. And uh, there's stiffeners in here so they can't get uh, smashed. Let's see, pull the little strip here. I usually am coated in uh, deep woods off when I come down here, but I was in such a hurry, I took off work early to go get these and I ran down here because this this storm is a coming so uh opens up like that you can see inside there the little package inside the envelope and uh it's velcroed in there I'll go ahead and uh, tear it open so you can see so this one yeah, it's Velcroed. So see how they Velcro it in there. So then these two little pieces of cardboard are Velcroed down to the queen cages. So I see this, I see movement here and uh, I see movement there. So looks good. Well, this, this says attention this shipping container is designed to hold queens only during shipment and is not to be used for queen storage if unable to use queens immediately bank queens in a colony according to standard beekeeping practices so normally when i get these in uh, i like to give them a drop of water and a drop of honey on their little cage but these are going right into the hive, so I'm not going to do that. So you see it's Velcroed down. And uh, this little piece of wood is in there to keep any uh, pressure from pushing down on the cages and maybe maybe squishing them. So it looks like we've got two marked queens in there. So let's... Uh, Get them down there, and I don't want to keep them out of the sun, you know, keep them in the shade. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back over them. And let's get over to our two splits we pulled and get them put in there. There's, you can see the uh, little label there. So I got my bee suit on now, so it's giving me some relief from the mosquitoes. <laughs> So the bees are flying pretty good right now. 
Uh, last night when I pulled the splits, uh, it was a little bit uh, late in the evening and the hives were all just covered, you know, with all the bearding and from the heat and humidity. So they're still, still doing a little bit of foraging. So see that sky? That's north and that's coming this way. And I can hear thunder. Some big old thunderheads rolling in. So I got some sugar feed, some syrup. I still need to get on some of these hives. Uh, this was the uh, split I just expanded and I did that last night and uh, boy it was crazy so uh, there was like robbing from this hive going on and uh, I wasn't able to get the feeder in there so here's our two splits see lots of bees hanging out on the front and that's a good sign looks like we did good this second one here, boy, I loaded it up with bees. I found the queen pretty early on, and uh, man, I shook a bunch in there. It, in fact, it may have too many. Okay, this will be hive 31. I'm really not happy with the number of bees I see in here. Let's uh, pull out a frame or two and see what it looks like. Because if it's uh, sparsely populated, so there's a nectar frame with a few bees. Here's some brood with some nurse bees, and same pollen. They really need more bees in here. The problem is I do not have time with this storm coming to get in another hive. So we're gonna go with it for now. So since there's a lot of honey on these, I'm gonna Put that queen right there towards the top. And you always want to put it uh, with the plug down so if anything drops inside it will go down and not fall in and, and uh, block the exit. And that should do it. I can see my entrance or exit is clear. They've got her pretty covered up now, so I can't see. So that's a, I'm happy to see you behavior there. That's not attacking. So they'll work on that plug uh, pretty quick and get that uh, opened up. And there's no need to feed these because there's plenty of honey and nectar in there. Oh, something else I noticed. Uh, I initially set that those queens on this hive over next to me on top of that um, telescoping cover that's got the metal on top. And I noticed it was, it was hot. So uh, I moved them off of that and set them down on the ground. So you don't want them to get overheated. So don't set them on top of your hive if it's got a metal cover like that. Uh, this looks much better as far as population. It's got a lot better uh, frame coverage than that last one. So she comes with, uh, looks like there's four attendant bees in there with her. I'm going to dig out on this plug that blob there on the end. The smaller the plug, the less time it'll take. And uh, 
These have been queenless overnight, so they're ready for a queen. There we go. So also you don't want that cage sticking up too far where you it's going to hit on your lid because these nukes the frames are a lot closer to the top than in a, a normal high body I've noticed. Okay so yeah we can uh, Get rid of this now we're all done with that uh, queens are installed the wind just just kicked up out of the north oh man that feels good uh got our queens installed thanks to wildflower meadows for sending me these queens uh i told them i noticed a lot of people commented that they had bought their queens uh and mentioned it in uh, comments on my videos and they said yeah we we noticed too so they wanted to send me these and thank me and uh I really appreciate them sending these uh, so they will definitely go to good use and that's going to help uh, help us meet our goal of maintaining 30 hives going into winter so uh, some of these will fail uh, i think there's uh, six in the requeening process right now and they won't all all be successful but uh, who knows uh, if we don't need them we'll just turn them into full-size hives right here and we'll overwinter them uh, in a uh, in a deep box so uh, that's the end of the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video y'all take care